How's it going everybody? Today on Some Guy Doing Stuff, we are gonna add more than one Tesla light show onto a thumb drive and be able to move between them without needing a computer. To do this, we're gonna be using Apple's iOS shortcuts. Now, what Tesla does is they only allow you to have one light show at a time running off of a thumb drive. It's just the way their file system works and hopefully in the future, they'll fix this. But for now, there's a trick. On a thumb drive, you could actually put all the light shows that you want in a specific folder. Then what we're gonna do is using Apple's iOS shortcuts, we're gonna create a shortcut that will copy the files from one folder into the Tesla folder that the Tesla will see. Let's get on how to do this. In order to download custom light shows, we are going to go to teslalightshare.io. Scroll through the website and find the light shows that you would like to download. There are a lot to choose from. When you find the one you want, you'll see a couple of download type files. I would choose zip file because it gives you both files that you need. Go into your downloads and find the zip file. Uncompress it. Copy that file into your Tesla thumb drive. In your Tesla thumb drive, you should have two folders. One will be called Light Show and the other will be called My Light Show. Open up shortcuts in the iOS system. It is time to create our shortcut. Give it a name. I am calling mine Light Show Copy to Drive. In the search field, type the word choose and choose from menu. Give it two names. Under one, replace it and put continue. And where it says two, put quit. Now let's do a search for get content and we're gonna move it up under continue. Click where it says folder and choose your drive. Then choose light show. Let's do a search for delete files and we're gonna move that up under get contents. We're gonna do another search for get contents and we're gonna move that up. We're gonna remove the name that it has there and we're gonna choose my light shows. Now let's do a search for choose and choose from menu. Give the variable a name and let's call it Tesla list. Do a search for get content and let's look for get contents of folder. I'm gonna move that up as well. Let's do a search for copy. And we're gonna choose copy to clipboard. Move that up. Let's do another search for save. And we're gonna choose save file. We're gonna move the save file up. We're gonna click on it and we're gonna open it up and we're gonna tell it not to ask where to save. And we're gonna change the shortcuts word and replace that. And we're gonna choose the light show folder. On the top, let's add in a message that it'll tell you before we start. Now let's run the light show. The light show will ask us if we want to continue or quit. We're going to choose continue. Now it's deleting the contents of the old light show and it's asking for our permission. Choose delete. Now we're going to choose which light show we want and that's going to be copied into the light show folder. Once this is completed, you're ready to go. And what we're going to do now is I got the lightning to USB dongle 
and I plugged in power because the USB drive doesn't get enough power. Um, but I did notice if I use an SD card version of it, it doesn't need power. So technically going forward, I'm gonna be using the SD card. I'm going to plug this into my phone and I'm gonna to go to my shortcuts. Okay, and I got my Tesla light show shortcut right here with the, with the dongle and I am going to run it. And we're just letting the shortcut run right now. And it wants to delete the old one. So we're gonna delete that. Now it's gonna be asking me what, um, what song I wanna put for the light show. So I got my little list right here, right on my phone. And I'm gonna choose something quick. I'm gonna choose the Knight Rider. Okay, now it's on the thumb drive and ready to go. So now I'm just gonna disconnect the thumb drive and I'm gonna plug it into my car. And it's also daytime right now, so you're not gonna get a good view um, of the light show, but it's just for proof of concept to show you how this works. Plugging this back in, getting my thumb drive, I'll plug that into it, open up shortcuts, okay, and let's switch it to another song. And delete the uh, Knight Rider one we just had on, and let's switch it to uh, Ping Pong. I don't think I've actually heard this song. All right, now we're gonna plug this back into the car and we'll see how it goes. And there you have it, multiple light shows on one thumb drive. If you like this video and if you learned something new, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell so you get more of these videos. Enjoy the rest of your day.